What's going on? How are you guys? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at any particular establishment. Today we are at Sweet Science. Still, I look. I, I'm gonna. If I ever have, if I, guys, if I ever live in Brooklyn, someone come over and like burn my apartment down. Cause I, I sometimes in, in New York, sometimes you know you can't tell if someone's a man or a girl. And look, I understand that times are different now. And but I could tell that the bartender was definitely a girl because of the way she snarled at me when I walked in. You know, c coming into this after doing a few burger reviews, I felt like that Lord of the Rings movie, The Return of the King, where they're like going in for the Battle of Helm's Deep, like one last time. One last time. Yes. Because I'm going to turn into a ball of grease. Moist towelette, French, fresh nap. This is unheard of. Look, we've had places give us napkins. We've had places give us ketchup. We even had mustard. But fresh nap, unheard of. Sweet science. They got their shit together. And Heinz ketchup. Oh man, they're just at, they're asking for an eight. They're asking for an eight. I got more Heinz ketchup than I know what to do with. I could sell this for like 50 cents right now on the street. All right. So let's calm down and be objective. Oh man, it's, it's tough, man. We even have a special dipping sauce for the fries. They're, they are doing some science in there, that's for sure. But they don't feel crispy. For not being crispy, they put some uh, bullshit barbecue spice on this, so that gives it a little more. I don't know, we'll give them a seven. Gotta crisp them up a little more. But what do you expect? It's like 3 p.m. on a Thursday. Honestly, if Shake Shack hands me this burger, like I wouldn't be surprised because this looks like a Shake Shack burger, except um, the chef needs to work on his knife skills to sharpen his knife a little bit because, you know, my 70 year old mother could cut a tomato thinner than that. So we'll see. The tomato, the onion is very, very fresh, but and it's good too. I like it, but we'll try it without it. Too. Six one, nothing special to be honest. Maybe even better with the veg, the meat. You know, the meat's well done, cheese isn't special. Bun's nice, a little chewy, soft, a little too much bread. Nothing really stands out. Hey, look, the bartender in there is cute. Should probably steal half your wallet and ignore you the rest of the night, but if you want to have fun, have a drink, have a decent burger, this isn't a bad spot. So, sweet science. It's kind of cool because on the outside it looks like a nightclub, but it's not. So, go figure. So, you can feel like you're about to get turned down at the door, but you don't, and then you get to have a nice burger. But uh, that's the review, guys. If you want an actual high quality burger, go to frankiestrangemeat.com. Try out our best burger blend as well as a variety of high quality cheeses that you can pair with that burger. And uh, what do we say? 6 1. Um, it's actually a 7 1 because of the towelette. So when we, when we put this on the official website or app or whatever we get, it's going to be a 7 1. 